hi in today's video i'm going to show you how i made this makeup transformation from this to this this video is absolute beginner makeup friendly after watching this video you will be able to achieve exactly like this because it's very detailed easy and not complicated first and foremost i cleansed my face i cleaned it up toned it up and now i put my serum and then i will be putting my moisturizer like this and to reduce the smile lines this is how i massage my cheeks area after that i will tap it in to relax the skin then i will apply my eye cream and the eye primer and this is the correct way to massage the under eye And at this point, I will be putting the pore minimizer to give it more time to settle the skin as I work on my eyebrows. To make sure the eyebrows makeup stay in place and to remove the excess oil around the eyebrow area, I will tap it first with powder. And I will make sure that I have a very sharp eye pencil in order to achieve the natural looking eyebrows. Just like this, making sure that the middle part of the eyebrow is filled up correctly. And for the middle part of the eyebrow, I always make sure I raise it up a little bit just to avoid a flat look. I love putting the different shades of concealer at the back of my hand just for easier application. And I will start with the brightest color. And then follow up with the middle shade in the inner part of the bra. blending out the excess like this and then i will come with the foundation for the rest of the face And I will contour my forehead with a darker shade. I always smile to get the right spots and the middle of my cheek. With the lightest shade I'm using today, I will contour the middle part of the nose following with the darker shade on the sides of the nose, just like this. And with a very clean sponge, I will blend it in.
Then now I will softly blend the brow area just like this very lightly because I don't want much product on them. And I will contour the cheeks as well by smiling a bit to get the right spot. I love to come here with the sponge just a little bit at the end like now just to get that sharp crease you know the good thing about this is you can always put it as high or as low as you want Just as you can see right here, the way I was cutting it, so. With a soft palm, I will soften my lips now, getting them ready for the final lipstick. Not forgetting to mention, before the tutorial, I had scrubbed my lips just to make sure that the lipstick sits on flawlessly. I always put my eyelashes towards the very end of the makeup session just to make sure they are very clean and free from any possible powder from the eyebrows. And now I will put the lip liner. Then my lipstick color choice for today. Until I get the perfect ombre color, I can always add the lip liner just to get that specific ombre effect that I need for today. just to add more ombre effect on my lips i will always stripe it up like this to give it that perfect ombre effect look at that And finish up with a lip gloss just for that extra glow. And this is our final look. What do you think about this? And would you like to see 
more videos like this i kindly request you now to subscribe like and share this video with others so that they can also learn and benefit from it i'm so grateful for you watching until the end until we meet again on the next video thank you and bye